Welcome. To Arcade Audio. Ladies and germs, welcome, welcome, welcome to Dilton Paul. I'm Johnny. I'm Spencer. Here on Dilton Paul, we go on Wikipedia. We click random article. And we talk about it. Yeah, we do. I've got to be honest with you, I'm a little offended. Oh, no. You didn't recognize... Oh, you didn't You didn't say anything about the new carpet in here. Uh, am I actively on it? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't... This does not strike me as being new. It is... I believe you. It is completely new. Was there never anything here? There was, but it was just in this little area, but we have the full the full area rug now for the whole room. Okay. And was it the exact same pattern and feel? It was very and similar. It, was very, it had a very similar mouthfeel, yeah. Okay. Um, it's actually in the kitchen now, if you... Okay. I can show you. Is this, it has a very umami sort of... Mm, yeah, it's a very umami rug. Mm-hmm. Um, when you get down on it, you say, ooh, mummy. Ooh, mummy. Um, Ooh, mummies. Yeah, I hope it, I, I'm. I'm interested to see how it affects the the recording because it, it, there is there is more, much more stuff to dampen the sound in totally. here than there was. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like a it's like a, a wet London fog in this room mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. with a smoky. Voice. Yeah, we do have a humidifier, so it <laughs> is it is much wetter in here than it used to be. Dude, mm. nothing beats a good humidifier. What about a dehumidifier? We well, you get you get uh, Jessica likes it real dry, uh-huh. so we, she's got a dehumidifier on her side. I like it sopping wet, so I've got the humidifier on. <laughs> That's mine. sort of like a Beyblade scenario. Like who's gonna well, win there, out? There is generally a little tornado in the middle <laughs> of the bed. Um, we you know we also usually sleep with a box. Not to not to get too intimate, but we usually sleep with a box fan on. I do too. It fell over the other day. Oh now shit! It, now it rattles. Oh no! So we got we got to get a new box. So fan. It sounds like there's a skeleton trying yeah, to. Yeah, I into tried your to house. fix it. And I, I just can't. Just it worse. I'll, just, I'll just give you a little sample. Oh, no. Can't sleep like that. No, it sounds like you got like a a little bag of baseball card in the spokes of your, your bike. <sighs> he was great. He yeah. was great. He was a shortstop? The shortest. Um, yeah, so, but then it's like, well, that fan doesn't even blow on us. So should we just get a white noise machine? That's I Yeah, I use the fan for the noise. It feels like a white noise machine would maybe use less energy, but also definitely yeah. last longer because there are no, like, moving. It's just a boom box, basically. You yeah, know? like, you could just, could yeah, I just put get Spotify a, on your. <laughs> it's could Should I just use something else as a white noise machine or should I get a white noise machine? I'm never going to buy a white noise machine. Like, I. I had a fan for this purpose, the white noise, noise, and then it broke, and I bought another fan. It's probably cheaper, honestly. They're the same price. I looked it up. I mean, you can get a good white noise machine for like fifty bucks, which feels a little. Well, then you just get a fucking industrial fan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. No, but you can get like a, a you know twenty dollar white noise machine. I can't imagine the difference between a twenty dollar white noise machine and a fifty dollar white noise machine is that much. I feel like wouldn't a humidifier do the same thing? Like, does that? I don't no, know. No, it's a very quiet humidifier. Uh, okay, get a loud humidifier. Two birds, one stone. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need it. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know either, man. Dude, SpongeBob is so hot. Like meme wise, it's cra- You're you're so fucking into memes. I right love now. memes. You know me. It's me. It, it's it's strange because it, it's been around forever. Yeah. Well, it's kind of it's like the new Simpsons. You got the the good yellow boy, and that's the main that's thing. The, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, the good yellow boy, and he's been around for like twenty years. Did you see exactly? Actually, April twenty fifth. <laughs> 2008 to 1998 fuck off yeah that's what I'm saying you wanna get an article yeah Spongebob Squarepants Catherine Kathy (laughs) Ritvo oh it doesn't even be the cartoon fuck I wish speaking of speaking of comics Mm -hmm. oh Nancy's Nancy's hot right um, now yeah and Nancy's I'm, a new SpongeBob. Everyone's saying it. I am so into the new Nancy. Yeah, me too. And you know what I've always been into and always will be into? Garfield. Heathcliff. He, I was close. Different orange cat. Please, I mean, I don't know if I've met, I don't think I've mentioned on the on the old Castorini mm-hmm. before, but how much you love Heathcliff? Heathcliff, do yourself a favor and look up some Heathcliff cartoons. They are inscrutable. They are so crazy. You won't believe that they're not like doctored. It, truly, truly, yeah. they're they like go to the official like Heathcliff.com. Dot gov. <laughs> either either uh, Peter Gallagher 
is operating on like some some comedy next, next level, next level yeah. or or he's sending codes to like some like sleeper cell somewhere. <laughs> yeah, like I, I, you're not I, even exaggerating. I tr- truly, I cannot express how just yeah. buck wild Heathcliff comics are. And these get printed in like national newspapers, and it's, just, it's just like a single single panel. So it'd be like Heathcliff with like a, hel- a, a helmet, helmet on that says ham on it. Yeah, and, and then, then the grandpa would be like, "Watch the ham." <laughs> If they're ever even that cogent, though, it, you catch yourself lucky. It sounds like I'm making this up. No, there's like it's you just you just have, you just have to look yeah. them up. You just have to look them up. It's cra- it's 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 it'd be like like him like sword fighting some pigeons in the park, and then yeah, the the mom will be like, must be Tuesday. Truly, yeah. There's, uh, I saw one. And it was, he was wearing jeans, and someone just said, "New jeans," <laughs> and that was. <laughs> I saw a different jeans one. Oh, they, the, Gallagher's big on jeans. Loves jeans. I, it was it was Heathcliff wearing jeans, and then a couple of mice guys nearby mm-hmm. also wearing jeans, kind of strutting their stuff. And the grandpa's nearby, and the grandpa says, hey, "Cut it out." <laughs> All three of y'all. <laughs> then there's like, there's the garbage ape, and everyone celebrates when the garbage ape comes, and it's just an ape that does, likes does gar- garbage. Does garbage. <laughs> there's one, and it's Heathcliff. And a, a Sheathcliff, I don't know, the girl cat. Um, and uh, they're like sitting in front on like a hill in front of the moon. And you see like the garbage ape like silhouetted in front of the moon. And then there's like two birds talking there. Every comic has two people, uh-huh. two birds, two some two some animal that are talking to each other, like commenting on the scene. Sure, sure. And it just says they met under a garbage ape moon. <laughs> I, I, you just, it, it, it boggles the mind that this comic exists. <laughs> Maybe Peter Gallagher is not a man anymore. He's more machine than man. And it's, it's like, just trying to like break a Turing test. It's like a, a, a neural network was trained yes. on comics mm-hmm. and is just making <laughs> Heathcliffs now. <laughs> yeah. Like smarter child, like the AOL bot just got like obsessed. <sighs> I don't know. Do you want to talk about Kathy or do you want to talk about Nancy some more? Um, Catherine, Kathy Ritvo is a racehorse trainer who won the Breeders' Cup Classic. That sounds weird. <laughs> All right. Who can fuck the best? <laughs> First place. Let's watch. Well, do you think it's like a horse fucking contest? Oh, absolutely. Like, and they're off. Like, here it comes around the bend. That's going to hurt. <laughs> oh, she won the Breeders' Cup Classic in 2013. Yikes. With, Did she retire immediately? With Mucho Macho Man. No. After having finished a close second in the same race in 2012. She's the first woman to have trained a winner of that race. She also won. Uh, she also was only the fifth woman trainer to win any Breeders' Cup race wow. and was the 14th woman trainer to saddle a starter in the Kentucky Derby. It's getting less impressive as they go down the, line, the list, huh? Mm-hmm. In the 137 years that the race has been run. Yeah, that reminds that me. That still is not very many women, honestly. No, no, not at all. Um, we we have a friend who lives in like a high rise. Okay. And oh, friend of the network. Uh, well, I I won't say who because I don't want to like blow up his spot. Yeah, but he told me like this is the tallest high rise. <laughs> like as as it goes on, it's less and less impressive. But it's like okay, this is the the like tallest high rise. Or the tallest residential high rise in the city, built completely from masonry. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, it's like, oh, okay. oh, 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 okay. Why are you telling me this? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, why do you know this? Um, yeah, I, I didn't want to get too explicit because I feel like you could look up. Yeah, those, those statistics. statistics yeah. And have you ever watched horse racing or horse breeding? I've actually I've watched, I have watched a lot of horse, horse fucking. Yeah, yeah, I've seen some of my day. Dude, yesterday I watched. There were like. I saw two birds no, fucking. No, you didn't. That's not that's not possible. That's or, never happened in the history of mankind. What do you mean? Nobody has ever seen two birds fuck. Well, that's not true. I it's I, I refuse to believe you. They How were, did they do it? Were they plummeting to the earth and this Well, they were like on the ground. I mean, it looked like they were fighting. So maybe they were fighting. Or maybe it was I'm I'm not disputing what you're saying. I'm just saying I would love to see two birds fuck. 
Well, sure. Who would? <laughs> Dude. That's how you start your week off, right? I mean, this is... We don't need to talk about this too long, but okay. what the fuck do you think it looks like when ostriches have sex? Because they're beautiful. so... <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> they're so... Those legs? Forget about it. Oh, man. Do you... <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, just saying, I, yeah. I, I'm, I'm imagining an ostrich wearing very uh, sexy like, stockings. And, yeah. Like, yeah, I feel like the ostriches in Fantasia were a little sexy. It, more sexy, you're saying? Sexier than a typical ostrich? Yes. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. I'm sorry. Ostriches also have very beautiful long That's, eyelashes. Oh my! They we all can't. Do. We can't talk about this anymore. Yeah, I'm gonna get too flustered. <laughs> What's the most beautiful bird? I was going to say, it's, I was going to ask you what you think the sexiest animal is. I mean, flamingo is like too easy, but it's like, well, are they really sexy or you know what I mean? Like they just have the flashy are you, coat. Am I in love with flamingos or the idea of flamingos? I think it's more the idea of flamingos because then you can also be like, well, you know, like a peregrine falcon, something like that. Something small, Ooh, compact, sleek. Sleek. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I feel like it might be a something aquatic. Oh, like a swan was maybe, Ooh. you know, we don't, they don't have to be birds. Oh, you're saying the sexiest animal? A- all animals. Oh, well, I mean, then you might, like, you need, you need to make an argument for, like, you know, like a clam or something like that that's, that you wouldn't think about. Okay. You know, but then you start, you know, thinking some more, and you're like, well. Did you see the shape of water? I did see, and that's the sexiest the, animal, the sexiest the, water. Is it an animal? I mean, well, it's not. The, in the bed. <laughs> Man. What is it? What, 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 what would you say? Like, um. Uh, what would you say? Monster in the streets, animal in the sheets. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, yes, I would fuck the monster I'd, from I'd fuck the, the shape of him. water. I'd let, him, I'd let him fuck me. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> the best part of that whole movie is when she's like, "Where's, where's his wiener?" Yeah. And she like, m- like mime, mimes, or like did the like ASL like, of, of his wiener was inside. Wiener. <laughs> yeah, I need to rewatch the movie to find out how to say monster wiener. Because I think I'm, I don't know the exact oh way to say God. it. Oh, my God. Yeah. It's weird how often they use the sign for Monster Wiener in a quiet place. <laughs> <laughs> Just Devin, constantly. Devin, don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, that movie was very good, though, by the way. Yeah, quiet it was. Place. It was. I yeah, enjoyed it. Like, n- not, not a joke. It really just was good. Yeah, yeah. Um, would it be better if you like new sign language? Would you be like more? Impressed? Probably, yeah. I think. Because I think I mean it's the same with any language. Because you wouldn't have to read the subtitles. So yeah. You'd be more like you'd be more immersed. immersed. Yeah, totally. I th- I think that um, yeah, just like watching any any movie that has subtitles. I think it. Yeah. it I remember watching Mission Impossible three with my friend who was of Italian descent and spoke Italian, and there's a scene where they're like trying to break into the Pope's house, um, in in Jesus, in, what the in fuck South is that Dakota. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sure. I've never seen any of those. He's trying to break, they're trying to break into the Vatican, I think. I might be making that up. Regardless, the point is they're in Italy. And at one point, to like cause a distraction, you know, like they intentionally create a traffic jam. And all these like Italian guys get out and start like yelling at each oh, other. Like Tony Romano. Yeah, exactly. Which there's no subtitles for. It's just guys yelling yeah. at each other in Italian. Uh, and meanwhile, my buddy is just like Who's dying laughing. Mind? Like, just tell me what they were saying. And it was like... You motherfucker! Like, like real. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I would love to watch like, uh, like Amelie now or something. Now that I know a lot more French than I used to, uh, do, do or they, just any like French movie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hmm, what are some other French movies I might know? The Diving Bell and the Butterfly is actually very good. Yeah, that's French. Mm-hmm. I don't know that. I always confuse that one with the. Do bell you jar. remember the when you are watching the movie and everyone was speaking French the whole time? Um. Yeah, I didn't understand what's happening. <laughs> Am I? What's going on? Am I having a stroke? Or um, is everyone in this movie? Um. Yeah, those are those are the only two French movies that I can think of. <clears throat> I mean, surely there must be one other. Babar. Babar. Madeline. Madeline. Mm. She probably speaks French. We. Oui. Mm-hmm. Anyway, I, I think it would be interesting. I, I watched um, The Force Awakens in French maybe a year or two ago. That was fun. Do they have special words for like force or force midi or whatever? They choose like the... Um, yeah. Like so, some things are, are different though. Like it's Dark Vader instead of Darth Vader, which is very... Like it, it, it's... The translation. No, not the translation. Oh, it's literally... They say like, je suis Dark Vader, you know? Is that because the TH sound doesn't exist in French? Mm-hmm. Uh yeah, and like <laughs> there there are a few other weird ones. Um, 
Han Solo, I think, has a different name because there's no like yeah, Hark Solo. Uh, and C three PO is Z three PO because they can't say C. Well, or so C yes. would be say. Oh, okay, I see. Say Twapeo, so it's Z Twapeo, which is not much better. Z Twapeo. <laughs> that sounds like another language, man. It's wild. Yeah. Um, the weird thing was I watched it with the French dub, and I'd watch it dubs and subs. Okay. Because it just helps. Of both French for both. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. But they were different. Oh, that's it, distracting. It was very frustrating. So, like, the, the subs were sort of... Um, just a direct translation. Yes. And the dub was more like, um, like fitting the words to the mouth or something. No, it was, it was, it was more, if I remember correctly, it was more like the, the subtitles were almost as if you just directly translated each word. So like you, you ran it through like Google translate, essentially. It was sure. just like, this is what these words mean. Uh-huh. And the, the dub was like, Getting more of the feel and the sense, totally, like, totally. rather than rather than. Like, I've noticed that trend. sometimes if I'm watching like, an anime, and because <laughs> I also watch things with subtitles on, just like English subtitles for everything. Mm-hmm. And if I'm watching an anime, uh, I will. And let's be honest, I'm constantly watching anime, and yeah, I know I'll, we know I'll have them like speaking English sometimes, and yeah, like uh, you know, I'd be like, "Boy, you jerk! Like you really done it this time." But mm-hmm. then the subtitles would be like, "You bastard." And so it's like, oh shit! Like that's probably the real interesting. Know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's not all the time, but you know, probably Trigun or something. Sure. Mm-hmm. What's your favorite anime, Kathy? <laughs> Nancy? <laughs> Dude, speaking of anime, we gotta fucking watch Speed Racer. We do gotta watch Speed Racer because you watched the trailer. I, yeah, I did, and the trailer didn't sell me on it. I'm gonna see it regardless, but I was really wanting the trailer to blow my socks off, and it didn't. I, that's crazy because I, I have seen the movie and I watched the trailer and I was like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> this movie looks wild. Um, what I like is just in, in the background of every shot is just constantly like that anime. Yes. Like that's what that's what sold me on like this the rewatch lines of, the of action. It's like it's like just talking about what you have for breakfast and it's like these, these intense. Oh, like so good. <laughs> <clears throat> um. Yeah, and uh, I've never seen the show ever, or the cartoon, or whatever. Yeah, me is neither. it an anime, or is it? I what? believe so. Okay. And the point of it, he, he, he's a racer. He races. No, no, no. He speed races. He speed races. Okay. I think. I mean, it's kind of like the difference between drifting and Tokyo drifting. You know. Oh, it's a it's a subtle but distinct difference. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's the kind of like when you see it, you know it. Like, yeah, it's like, totally. It's like totally. Mm-hmm. It's like I don't is is this racing or speed racing? And then you see it. And then you know mm-hmm. this is speed racing. Um, part of it is that there's no um, oil uh, or or tax, baby. Uh huh. Or am in, I thinking of wacky racing? You are definitely thinking of wacky racing. So, yeah, I get those three confused. I can do a pretty good Muttley laugh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> Smell you later. <laughs> You're my girl. I'm your man. I don't care, care if we live in a garbage, garbage can. can. Thank you for playing Arcade Audio. Play more at arcadeaudio.net.